What's up guys, Taikino22 here with TA2 Productions and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a, a new series that I'm getting started on. Um, it's going to be the Elemental Letter Series, I guess. And uh, as you can see here on my desktop, I kind of made this thing this morning just to kind of show off uh, exactly what I'm going to be doing here. And um, so today we're going to go ahead and kick start off by me showing you how to make this uh, water tea. Um, the one I've made here um, now, actually, I made earlier as I was practicing for my recording thing, if I can get this up, uh, was a lot better than this, and I liked it a whole bunch more, I, and I actually enjoyed making this one look better, and uh, it's actually right here, if uh, I can get Photoshop to load right now, it's being super slow, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to be kind of showing you how to make this today. Um, I wrote down the dimensions, and I'll probably put them in the description if you guys ask for them. But if not, I'm not going to put them in there. And, uh, yeah. So this is what I'm going to be showing you guys to make. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, get started here. So what you're going to want to do is click File, New, and click a new, just a new spreadsheet. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can have it transparent. It's easier to see as of right now if you put it on a white piece of uh, document here. Um, I usually do full HD settings. I think it's 1920 by 1080p um, and whatnot. So you, uh, you should get something like this. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. First, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, click just regular text. I don't know why you left clicked. Click just a regular text and uh, 530 uh, PT, uh, point 530 is uh, 530. That's what I'm using uh, my text size as. And I'm using this nice little watercolor here. Uh, came up with it earlier and uh, it looks pretty good with uh, the water theme. So just go ahead and shrink that down. Now um, I'm going to click 3D. You can follow my steps or go in your own kind of steps ways. This is just kind of an outline of how I did it and uh, you guys can just develop your own way from there and whatnot. So, once this hits 3D mode, da, 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 come on. Okay, once it hits 3D mode, just go ahead and click the grab tool and drag it on down into the middle like that. Um, I'm going to kind of leave a little more shadow on the right-handed side because right in here I'm going to put my A and my 2 and uh, well as if I was making this earlier and whatnot and I kinda like it right there so I'm gonna leave the T right there then gonna just go ahead and zoom in about a hundred percent if it'll tighten oh, oh, 100, 100,000 we don't want that there we go hundred percent just kind of make this uh, centered no, not. And uh, that's kind of the basics of the water here. Now, just click layers and uh, click on the background. That way you don't have to deal with the 3D anymore. And uh, yeah, so there's the T. And that's all I got for you guys. Just kidding. Okay, so now it's really simple to do. Go online and type in like water splash or uh, water with white background. Make sure it's all the same background. Um, unless you know how to get rid of that stuff, but it's just what you prefer, I guess. Uh, make sure it's just the same color. It's easy. White background, and I've got all mine highlighted here, my water ones, and just drag them over into Photoshop. Now, um, try to make the letter around the same color as the water. That way you don't have to saturate it too much. I mean, you can saturate it, but I prefer not to saturate because it just kind of distorts the color, makes it look not as nice. And um, so what you're going to do is just check mark all these in. I am using CA6 right now, extended, if you guys were wondering. I'm also using Camtasia, which is super slow while running Photoshop on my computer. But yeah, um, this is kind of modeled off of, I got this idea mostly off of um, the, the making the girl turn into water, her hair and her face look like water. Okay. So what you're gonna do now is pull the T. I usually just pull the T underneath all the water stuff, make the water on top of it. Uh, click the top layer of water and then shift and then click down here on the water too. 
uh, and make sure that all the waters are highlighted. Now you can click up here where it said normal and change that to multiply. Now that's going to just kind of get rid of everything. Now I'm going to try to zoom in a little more so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here in a second. You see these little things right here? The little marks? Those are watermarks from um, I mean not water watermarks. These are watermarks that the place that made this put on here. That way you can't steal their photos and whatnot. So uh, don't you know watch out for this. This is just kind of a test so I'm not really show anything. Just watch out for those. Make sure they're not in your final project or you'll notice them whenever it hits HD and uh, whatnot. Okay, so now once they're m into the multiply, just go ahead and click on them individually and uh, drag them to where you like them. I like this one here, but I'm going to start down here at this water. This this water splash is my favorite to put down here at the bottom. It looks like it the tea just fell into a puddle or something. And then grab this water here. I don't know which one that is. Put that on the top somewhere. Make it kind of look like water just flowing down it. Simple enough. Oop, wrong water. It's hard to know which water to grab though, so be careful. Cause sometimes I grab the wrong stuff. It's two. Okay. Water four is this I kind of like having it sit here and then water one is this one now I like it there but I don't like where I put I think water three yeah now it's hard to remember exactly where you put it on every single one of them but it's kind of like this look right here this is kind of the look you're going for just to have like the water spraying off and uh, if you just check over I'll check and see what I did on the other one I had it kind of coming across like that. So I'm going to just kind of drag that one down here like that. There we go. So that's kind of like the water outline. Let me change this water too down here. There we go. That's kind of like the water look. Now we now we need to make this T look a little different to make it kind of blend in better. So what you're going to do is click down here, like double click or triple click or whatever you want to do. Just make sure you get your little box popping up here. There we go. Okay, so it's the layer style block and whatnot. And uh, this this part right here is um, where you're gonna make this T look pretty sweet and whatnot. So make sure this setting's on normal. Opacity's at 100. These are just what mine was. Now, click on bevel and emboss. Click on uh, inner shadow and outer glow and I think we need a contour on there maybe not okay bevel and emboss just kinda open up that one uh, make sure it says inner bevel smooth make this depth at 93 percent okay make sure that says up make sure this setting the size is at 87 and at seven. Now, as you can kind of see, it added this cool effect here. Um, it's kind of an icy look, and that's what I like. And you'll see more of the icy look as we go on through. Um, now, if you click on texture, texture needed to be on for this one. I don't know why it wasn't on. Hold on, I think I made a mistake, guys. I'm it won't go back over. So just take texture off. Um, for the icy look, if you click on this and add these bubbles, I know it looks weird now, but if you mess with the scale on these, it can make it look freaking sweet. Okay, I just forgot to write it down. I did have this icy kind of look on the, the texture on the LT. Okay. And then inner shadow, make it blend make that multiply okay it's at multiply black opacity 75 distance 505 we're good there and color or outer glow make sure that that's set pretty good opacity needs to be at a hundred percent noise at 39 we'll just type that in and um this is just kind of what I did to make mine look like it did. 
So I think I think that's about it. And uh, they look they look about the same to me. The only difference is that the that setting down there was different. So if I click on the background, it kind of gives you that look. And uh, yeah, so that's exactly what I did, guys. That's how I made this one. Let me zoom out to 100%. That way it's not as blurry. There. Um, I don't like this water down here. This is kind of just the way you make it, you know? It can look different compared on who you are and uh, exactly how you want it to look. And uh, this is kind of the way I like mine. So um, this is how I show I'm going to show you how to make it. And uh, yeah, guys, as you can see, pretty much the same deal. All right, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, look down uh, my channel. There's going to be the other elementals. The next one I think I'm making is fire. Uh, the fire one is pretty cool and whatnot. But if you if you don't feel like watching those, I mean, you can kind of figure out how to do it on your own. But, uh, yeah, so I encourage you guys to subscribe and like, and I uh, really appreciate uh, your attendance of this video. Thank you, guys.